I think one of the defining character between uh, science and the policy makers is trying to get the message through in a clear, simple, understandable way. So it's really about communication of scientific messages, scientific facts to the politician or the policy maker. And that is the challenge. Well, I chair the subsidiary body on science, technology and technological advice of the Convention on Biological Diversity. This body is supposed to be the science advice for the conference of parties of the CBD. But the problem is, uh, more often than not, this subsidiary body gravitate into a mini conference of parties. So uh, the link or the differentiation between science and policy more often than not tend to, uh, tend to be conflicted, you know, tend to be a bit confused. So that is the reason why uh, through the years uh, we have come to the conclusion that we need a body, a scientific body that can link with the policy makers. And a very good example is the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC. Well, the establishment of the UN Secretary General's Scientific Advisory Board, for me, coming from the scientific community, is something that we welcome very much. For a long time, uh, the scientists almost uh, feel left out from the discussion, from the debates on uh, science governance, on issues like uh, uh, biodiversity, in a sense, uh, climate change, and, and other areas. Uh, for a long time, uh, it is the domain of negotiators and the diplomats uh, deliberating on this issue. So the formation of the Scientific Advisory Board of the Secretary General is really a response to this uh, call, to this plea from the scientific community uh, to be heard. So this is a golden chance for the scientific community now uh, to link uh, their needs, their aspiration and uh, to articulate that through the Secretary General and how uh, scientific knowledge can uh, strengthen uh, best policies and programs uh, in the pursuit of sustainable uh, development for our global community.